Here's how you can calculate the gradient vector. So in order to calculate the gradient, you're going to need to know how to do partial derivatives in calculus three. So what I can actually do is evaluate the gradient of this function by taking partial derivatives with respect to the three variables. So we'll start with the partial derivative with respect to x, in which case we'll go to the x that we see in our function and we'll do the power rule where we take the exponent, multiply it by the front and subtract one from the exponent. That will give us two x. Everything else in this function will be treated as a constant since we don't have any more x's left over. Now, if I take the partial derivative with respect to y, that means I'll do the power rule on this y term, which will give me 2y. And I don't need to run this power rule anywhere else because as you can see, this is the only y we have in this function. Now, the partial derivative with respect to z is simply going to be the derivative of this last z term that we see. The z will just derive off, so all we're gonna have is negative eight. So now that we have the partial derivative with respect to each variable, I can plug that in for the partial derivatives for this gradient vector over here. So this is the gradient vector of the function and the answer to this problem.